I awoke last night with pins and needles coating my entire body. The sharp sting that got worse the more I moved my limbs was a shock to my system. But at least it got me out of a horrible nightmare. In the nightmare I was at a beach with no one on it. Only me. It was completely abandoned. As if everyone took their things and ran from some unknowable entity. In the distance was a ferris wheel which looked like it had been rusted for years yet still spun. I boarded it and rested my weary bones. Stood back up once I reached the top and the wheel stopped spinning. I looked out into the ocean sunset. It was too beautiful to be real. I felt a presence next to me. It was comforting. I turned around and there she was in all her wonder. The penis monkey. We embraced and I stroked her silky fur which led me down to one of her many penis appendages. At this point I knew this was all a dream, but I didn't care. I loved her. That's when things took a turn for the worst. A musky yet familiar smell filled my nostrils. I looked down into the water and saw white tendrils emerge from the depths and begin to cover the entire beach before working its way up the ferris wheel. All I could do was watch in horror as the penis monkey was coated by the mass of tendrils. I could still hear her screams of agony as I too was covered in the white substance. That's when I woke up. It all felt so real, but I didn't have much time to think about it as I was late for work. I live within walking distance from my job, but in order to get there I have to walk through some sketchy alleyways. During the day it's not so bad, but I've heard rumors of people going missing at night. I never really have to work overtime, so this doesn't really affect me too much. I just go about my day blissfully ignorant. When I was heading up to work today, however, I noticed something strange. That same musky yet familiar smell was prevalent when I was walking through the alley. I thought nothing of it and rushed to work, but then I was really, really, really late. My boss, the penis monkey, had gone missing a few days ago. Nobody really cared since he was a real prick, but it meant that I could get away with being late. Mm -hmm. On my way back from work, I noticed something very strange. A sticky white substance was on the red brick wall of the alleyway. It had a musky yet familiar smell. I shoved whatever insane thoughts crept into the back of my head and picked up the pace. The sooner I got home, the better. I ran back home, hoping that once I sunk my head into the pillow, I'd forget all the nightmares and whatever twisted thoughts of the alleyway I had. I reached my door, but the lock had been broken. Oh, God, someone had broken into my home. I slowly opened the door, and almost instantly that same musky yet familiar smell filled my nostrils. Don't let this be real, don't let this be real, don't let this be real. I remember thinking to myself. I slowly but surely approached my bedroom where the smell seemed strongest. I slowly opened the door and carefully turned on the light. My bed had been covered in the same white substance I saw in the alleyway and in my dream. I stood there in shock and fear. I couldn't process what I was looking at. Suddenly I felt a presence behind me. I quickly turned around and was horrified by what I saw. A monkey, about seven feet tall, wearing a black hoodie with mysterious stains on it. It had no hands or feet, it said it had penises on the ends of its limbs. It began to scream loudly and pounced on me. I tried to fight it, but there was nothing I could do. Liquid began to spurt from its bandages and drip onto me. It was hot, but cooled quickly and hardened. It wasn't long before I was completely cocooned by the liquid. And I passed out. I don't know how long it had been before I woke up. I wasn't in my room anymore. Instead, I was in the alleyway, now completely covered in the liquid. I looked around, and there were others like me, covered in the same liquid the creature squirted out. After a bit of struggling, I managed to break free of my prison. I fell to the ground, but it wasn't my hands that caught my fall. Please, God, no! I looked down at where my hands used to be. Instead, there were... penises. I examined myself further. I was covered in damp hazel fur. I screamed in agony, for in that moment I realized that I was no longer human. I had become the penis monkey.